Now to a story of survival most do not live to tell. Tonight we learned a child infected with a brain-eating amoeba has beaten the odds. It's a story we broke two weeks ago. Jennifer Ortega is at Florida Hospital for Children with this incredible update. Yeah, this child is one of four people to survive the infection in the last 50 years. They were actually admitted into the hospital early this month, and they've been fighting the infection ever since. It's been two weeks since the 16 year old boy contracted the brain eating amoeba and today health experts say they fought off the infection. We spoke to Todd McLaughlin last week that told us it was a rush against time to get the medication to the teen. We're hoping now with with what's going on here in Florida that we can actually meet the clock and get there in time. McLaughlin's Orlando based company Profounda is the only company in the United States that makes a drug that fights the amoeba. He says he got the call that someone in Florida may be infected. I was actually out of town in Boston and I was able to call my son who happened to be home and had him go into the office, get the product and actually start driving the product to the hospital. The Department of Health believes a teen got infected while swimming in Broward County, but fell ill while on vacation with his family in Orlando. Now this infection has a death rate of 97%, so it's incredible this boy even survived. Tomorrow the family will be talking in a press conference and will be there. In Orlando, Jennifer Ortega, News 6. Unreal, Jen. Thanks, doctors and the teen's family. We'll talk, as she said, tomorrow at 10. We'll bring that to you live on ClickOrlando.com, powered by News 6.